hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel and thank you for coming back to another episode of why are you telling my business because i can because i can <laughs> okay we're going to be talking about the real housewives of the ultimate girls trip and the players on the team is ramona luann cynthia kylie um kenya melissa and Teresa. okay and they all come from different housewives franchise you know kenya and cynthia comes through with atlanta uh housewives uh kylie comes from beverly hills luann and um ramona comes from what was it new york and who we have left melissa and Teresa comes from uh new jersey i believe they are okay but that woman right there that's cynthia bailey she just consistently eats kenya ass and i hate to say it like that but that's just how this nut was fawning over kenya moore i'm like are you kidding me kenya is there to network with the rest of the housewives from the other franchises. She's trying to somewhat have back and forth banter with Luann. No, sorry, not Luann, but Ramona. Because Ramona calls her a bitch at 36,000 feet. Maybe forty-one to 45,000 feet. But that is like, um, I want to say a commercial um, airplane. So they usually run 36,000 feet. Feet. trying to make that money trying to make that dollar trying to make that dinero and one thing you don't want to do is call a black woman a bitch and you're the opposite of that spectrum caucasian women cannot call black women bitches and if so watch them hands get up in the air <laughs> Watch them hands get up in the air. I'm like, Lord, not at 36,000 feet. These women calling each other bitches from other cultures, okay? Forget about bitches being derived from being a dog, okay? But Ramona got mad at Kenya because Kenya wasn't keeping up with what she was saying. And she just told her, bitch. You know, and Kenya like, well, one thing you're not going to do, and I want to say, can you tell her, and one thing she's not going to do at 36,000 feet up in the air is disrespect you by calling you a female dog. Get her, Kenya. And I just unleash the leash and let have. <laughs> but, child, not only did that happen, but Cynthia Bailey is up there trying to tell all these women how Kenya has suffered. For the year she going through a divorce very bad divorce putting you know kenya's business out there like if the women wanted to know all that about her let them ask kenya nut why are you sitting up there telling somebody else's business then she bring out this big beautiful picture uh of kenya's daughter saying well y'all just don't know kenya never left her daughter never left her daughter uh, to go film and do anything with the Real Housewives of Atlanta. She was just like her, uh, what do you call it, right hand person. Or she was clinging to her hip, uh, fearful of letting go. And, you know, I'm sure Kenya's going through a lot of anxiety. But ladies, let's just, um, let's just celebrate this amazing, amazing accomplishment Kenya has taken by leaving her baby behind. I wanted to take them scissors and cut, um... She had these big old scissors, like when you have an opening, a grand opening or something, or you're dedicating something, you have the ribbon, and you get this big old scissors, uh, and you try to cut the ribbon with them, and that's pretty much what she was saying, she's cutting the, the, uh, the, um, the ribbon was, uh, synonymous or a symbolic meaning, meaning Kenny was cutting the cord of leaving, Brooklyn behind. I thought that was just so tacky, so cheesy. And I'm going to say, Cynthia, now what if Kenya turned the table on you and started talking about you and Peter or, or what the rumors were saying about you and Mike and another woman being involved in your relationship that you didn't know about, meaning he was cheating on your behind? Is that something you want to bring up? That was so tacky of Cynthia's ass. I'm like, see, we got her, finally got her off the Real Housewives of Atlanta because after constant 
seasons we constantly in the media saying why do we still have cynthia here she brings nothing to the show she's never going to bring anything to the show and for once the big people the executives heard us and said okay cynthia's been a good player thus far but she really hasn't been getting anything giving anything to the show of any type of uh velocity so let, let, let's just slide her out you know a little bit by little bit we don't want to cause a big stir because you know we already had that nini uh leaks thing and we don't want to bring that back up we don't want to bring any spotlight to that so let's just offer her a friend role and give her another recurring role on something new that we're bringing out okay and yes these ladies got to live and and and, and dwell in this pretty 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 turquoise and cake Cake, Turks and Caicos, um, probably rented, rented R&B uh, thing. It probably belongs to somebody fancy, uh, fabulous, and rich as hell, okay? But, you know, they were just putting it out there for people to uh, make money for them off season while they're not able to enjoy it. So, the property is sitting there looking beautiful, but it's being rent it out to make more money for that person that owns that property okay and i'm like go ahead go ahead go ahead okay if beyonce and jay-z can rent bezos uh yacht and and go around the world in it then why not why not production can spend this on these women in this new show okay but of course you know they were getting paid for it don't know if it's the same pay that they get on their normally their normal shows uh or what perspective housewives group they belong to but child baby <laughs> when that bitch word came out of ramona's mouth Kathy, i think kenya was thinking of this is an old ass woman because ramona is 64 and kenya's 50 and she's like i ain't finna saw into this lady but i'm finna pay her dues and i'm gonna drag her anytime i get ready to and she does do it in her confessionals kenya said the woman was, was suffering from dementia <laughs> I was like, okay, kill him with kindness and get him in the back end, can you? I hear you, girl. I hear you. Because I'm sure you want to say, oh, hit me so I can sue you. Oh, hit me so I can sue you. Because Kia ain't about them hands. She ain't worried about messing up nothing facial. She ain't, she don't want to get no scratches on that lovely body. And she's like, oh, if anything happens, if anything comes of this, oh, I'm going to sue you, girl. I'm going to sue you. I know that was all in Kenya's mind. And Kenya was just like being antagonistic. She was like, oh, who you, who you calling a bitch? I know we have, girl, Kenya got the point on fingers and this, that, and the third. And I'm going to let y'all listen to the video clip. Can't show you the actual footage because I could never really find it. Well, I can like, you know, insert it or whatever. I'm still working on how to do things. But as I go along, because I'm investing a little bit more time in it. Okay. So I can probably do some clips here and there like other YouTubers do. But I just haven't sat and 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 thought it out and tried to incorporate it at this time but keep watching keep watching just listen to my commentary because i know i'll be tripping my own self out i'll be laughing at my own self so when y'all say i'll be making y'all laugh and stuff like that then good because laughter is good for the soul and everything's over here is allegedly except for my opinion you know my opinion is my opinion but the women up there are verbally fighting thirty six thousand up in the air thirty six thousand feet up in the air and i'm like can we get some cabin pressure here because it looks like somebody can fly that window <laughs> And I'm going to turn my head because I don't want to be a witness of any of it. But I can just see it coming. I can see somebody just saying, open up the hatch. Open up the hatch. Somebody got to go. And I'm thinking it would have been, it would have been Ramona. <laughs> it would have been Ramona. And, um... Was like Luann couldn't have helped the Kyla couldn't have helped because they probably all been in shock and in therapy the next day, okay? But anyway, leaving that situation, going back to Cynthia's crazy behind, okay? You would have thought Cynthia would have mastered the art of meeting new people, reconnecting with old people, uh, formulating new relationships with other people. Uh, franchise housewives doing something other sticking or uh, sticking up on the Kenya more like glue or gum under her shoe to be more exact but I was just dis disappointed uh, truthfully with Cynthia Bailey by for one telling everybody that may have not even tried to inquire about uh, Kenya's more 
soon to be ex husband and her child is that because it wasn't time. I mean, if we sit around a barbecue and we sitting around the fireplace shooting shits and we talking about our children, that's one thing. But let Kenya talk about her child, okay? Because what if she wanted to say, well, let's talk about your uh, daughter who's fluent. Uh, did she get that way uh, recently? Or did she just wanted that for the show? Or what? you know, I'm saying Kenya could have turned it back on her real nasty, but she was honored, but yet disturbed that Cynthia would come out and for one tell that you know she never left Brooklyn alone. She got these big ass scissors with a uh, ribbon, big ass big ribbon. Supposed to be she's supposed to cut the umbilical cord because she left her child. Like that's some big statement or something. No, that was just Kenya's fear. Glad she got over it, but it didn't need to be publicized. And damn sure it didn't need to be publicized on a big ass front. Uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, what do you call it? Platform such as this show. Okay, if anybody wanted to keep up with that, follow Kenya on her Instagram account. Okay, or wait until Kenya says something on the Real Housewives of Atlanta about it. If these women were interested, and to me, I don't think they cared two shits of a shit's tail about it. Then she gonna go on and say, um. She was talking about, we need to give up the room assignments. We need to give Kenya the better room because she deserves it. I'm like, girl, what kind of, what rock did you crawl off from under? And this is not the Real Housewives of Atlanta. These women don't understand and want to understand what Kenya done been through. These are Caucasian, Italian, Jewish women we fooling with, girl. We ain't sitting with our own culture. And we've been playing in that ballpark forever and a day. This is another whole group another whole perspective another whole several cultures coming out at one time because i was i was kind of scared and you the reason why i was scared because somebody gonna turn left okay they're gonna they're gonna go and turn left and call people by their names and then you know how some of then you got white folks in, in caucasian i mean white folks and um we call them Jews and and and, 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 and um, Italians, they good about putting them paws up too. When you don't just got you don't talk too much, they be ready to fight. But normally, when Kenya is uh, what you call it, she's gonna provoke you. She's gonna give it to you. She ain't gonna be like the table tosser, uh, Teresa over there, cause Teresa be she be ready. She be ready to fight. <laughs> she be, she be about them hands. She's over there turning off, um, uh, what you call it, cocktail tables. In one of their scenes over there in the New Jersey, where she would get mad at one of her uh, co-workers on the show, or constituents on the show, whatever you know, what I'm saying chat colleagues on the show. She had turned the whole damn table over. And they showed a clip. I was like, God, no. They getting like that on New Jersey. I thought that was just for, you know, us over here. <laughs> the black women, when we want to put hands on. But, you know, sometimes we going to put hands on somebody, you know. But like I said, Real Housewives of Atlanta, they can't sue each other because they on their ratchet show. And they know they can't sue their employer when they know it may get volatile sometimes. But they... Preach and tell them, keep your hands to yourself. Don't don't get us so charged, okay? But if and when it doesn't happen, we'll straighten it out, okay? But we might have to take something from your check and give it to the offended party, all right? But anyway, going off from that incident. But shy, I was like, girl, these white women, these Italian women, these Jewish women, and any the other ethnicity I may have forgotten. They ain't finna give up their room wisely. They got issues going on too. They could care less about what can you got going on. Half of them don't have divorces. That is true. Okay. And they have problems with their exes. That is also true. Uh, and then they might be going through some private stuff that you know nothing about. But you asking these other six women or five women to give up their or if they got a chance to got a to get a better room, like or the master room or whatever, to so please give it to uh please give it to Kenya Moore, because I'm asking y'all on her behalf. I'll give up my room, and, and you know if nobody want to do it, and I'll give up my room to um you know let Kenya have my room, the the next better room. I'm like, how you know you getting the next better room? Better yet. Why are you on Kenya like she needs a heart transplant or a liver transplant or a foot transplant or a mouth transplant at that place? You know, you, you, you're trying to give up too much. When Kenya ain't stand you, girl, she's trying to make other connections. She good with you to a certain degree, but Kenya sees opportunity. She has to spread her wings. She can't be up under you. 
and you shouldn't be up under her or trying to be up under her. Have her back when, you, when she needs you. It's like a tag-in type situation. You know, when y'all wrestling, the person that got too much of you and you tired of them. You got to tag your partner in so they can come on and get some of that, you know, heat that you're taking. But Kenya has always handled herself. You remember, she's twirled. She twirls in and twirls out just like a mighty tornado. Tap up shit and leave and be come back and be ready to come back again to do it again if she need to. Okay? That's just how she get down. That's her MO. We don't got used to it. Okay? Got it good. But why you telling Kenya business, Cynthia? This ain't the Kenya tell all show. Okay, we're not roasting Kenya at this time. We definitely don't want to bring out her flaws and the issues that she had been going through negatively. Like, who gave you the right? Who gave you the power to tell Kenya's business to these strangers? Okay, let her do her own tattletaling if she needs to. Let that be her source of information that the girls can come to if they want to know anything about her. Don't put it out there. And surely, the only person that says something with some type of liking thing, li- likability of thinking about doing that. But she also required to have the next best room herself was Ramona. Ramona, the one that called Kenya a bitch. You see what I'm saying? And I'm like, Kenya was like, oh, you could tell Kenya was uh, embarrassed, uh, surprised that Cynthia would be telling her business like that. But then she knows Cynthia has no brain cells up there. We knew it on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now she's actually showing it to us verbally on another show. And then she wonders why they keep moving her gracefully out the door. I'm like, do you know when to check somebody or not to check somebody, Cynthia? Because I'm thinking we need to start there. We need to put you in class and give you the right formula to address when things are going south. But not to escalate things to where you're telling people business. and Because it could have went real bad. Just like Kenya had to check Ramona when, 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 all, when all of y'all were flying 36,000 feet in the air and didn't have not nail parachute. Okay, not nail parachute to jump out in case somebody wanted to get the capping up there. Because we don't know if they brought their, you know, their armed utilities. Okay, <laughs> you know, with the laws we got now, everybody packing. So, can you imagine somebody saying, you know, I ain't finna fight, but I'm finna cap some asses up in here. 36,000 feet. <laughs> Girl, I would be hitting it dead. <laughs> Coming up there with the um the pilot said, can you pull over? Oh my bad, we ain't driving. Can you decrease altitude, please, sir? Cause we got some crazy women <laughs> and a black woman, a white woman to call a black woman a bitch, and that's just not something we do. Not at thirty six thousand feet, okay? And they ain't too far from each other, so I'm kind of scared. I'm scared for my life. Can you decrease speed, sir? And can you drop altitude? I'm just playing. I'm just playing. No, hell, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't. Could you please decrease altitude, okay, ASAP. Shit, we would been calling the Coast Guard, everything. Call it, mm-mm, mm-mm, I'm pretty sure Ken saw red. But yeah, honey, it was, I ain't gonna tell y'all to go and uh, purchase a Peacock streaming service. No, because I didn't do that. I waited until it ran across my feed or I had a chance to actually look up Ultimate Girls Trip and it came and only had like a few segments. So I thought I'd give y'all that. Okay, flying the friendly skies and then being called a bitch. Okay, you stand it. I cannot child please. Don't fight words. Okay, I'm gonna fight words, but then I had to think about it. What is my bank account looking like? Do I have bail money? Okay, do I want to take my savings and put that toward bail money for uh assaulting somebody Ooh, what what see if i was drunk stuff like that which i don't drink at this time um it would have been touch and go it would have been touch and go because you know first offense is you know fight or flight fight or flight that would have been stage i would have been in and then i wonder what my girl cynthia been there she probably would have fell out on the floor herself because cynthia just don't have it she really don't i really wish she'd get off of reality tv unless it's something like a cooking show uh something like a yoga show that she want to introduce so oh, better yet a modeling show okay Cynthia got the fashion she got the face why is she wasting her time when nobody's really gonna give her anything of substance of being on a show like this you gotta have many faces you gotta have many attitudes and Cynthia just don't know which one to use at what time and with her being 54 years old baby you ain't got it 
you ain't gonna have it okay you're just gonna be a lost cause and i'm telling you as we get older we can't stand a lot of foolishness so we tend to tell the truth or our truth and it might hurt you you know what i'm saying because if you act a foul you know as older people and i know my mama she was in her 70s late 70s and her 80s she has no filter she has no filter and I'm like, honey, just long nobody don't come and try to put their hands on you. Because I try to forewarn all physicians, all um, co- well, she on the co-workers no more. But all people that are in the customer service uh, business, you know, don't approach my mama. Don't talk, don't talk sideways to her either. Just, you know, look at me. Look at me. Don't pay her no mind. Because when she go at you, she's just going to be, it's going to be unfiltered. And I'm going to be like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to witness that. But it's just something about getting older. You just don't take a lot of shit. You ain't for a lot of shit. And you would get people off you quick. Okay? Then shit can slide out your ass. Okay, did I say that? I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just being, you know, I was being me. I was giving y'all me. All right? I'll, I'll pull it back some. So, um, I don't think I had nothing else to say about this video. But to let y'all listen to the clip and see what y'all get. Did I get it accurate? Did y'all feel the same way I, I, I felt? And, 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 and um, viewed the scene Y'all tell me Get down in them comments Okay And let a sister know Let a auntie know Let a grandmama know Hey all the hell I, Let a cousin know However y'all see me Alright But here we go It's socially awkward too Like I don't like a lot of attention When I go places I want to go But very much like Hey can you put me in the corner It took me years To admit that I was a celebrity Somebody famous I don't get that I don't understand it Ramona We're on a TV show We're on a TV show That makes no I started in 2006. So you're 13 years? <laughs> I've been around with her for the beginning. It started out with Orange County. I no know. one knew who Orange County was. You and I, it was New York City, but Bravo on the map with a franchise, okay? Kenya, <laughs> <laughs> I know my facts. One thing I know about facts. Our show came on, and you know what? We were in first week, Wall Street Journal, Daily News. We were called the Cool Water Show. People get up the next morning and talk about us by their water cooler. Water cooler, <laughs> not cool water. I, I, I messed up my words. So because of us, then you all came. Oh, that was Ramona. <laughs> and that was Cynthia trying to chime in. Call me when you're invented a move that defines a franchise. I literally invented That's something. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I was saying throwing tables. Maybe she got them confused. Maybe it's her dementia. Right now, that was has the highest rating, so. <sighs> Excuse me, everyone. And here's like goes Cynthia's disgraceful <laughs> demonstration. And this Kenya is, is calling deal. herself crying. Because this is really the first time this woman has left her child. And I know all the mothers here can relate, relate to that. So, hard. Yeah. It's so, hard. so, yeah. just, so Kenya Moore, in yeah. celebration of you cutting the unbiblical cord, uh, uh, <laughs> say I'm proud of you, uh, love you, <laughs> and we're going to have a bomb ass time in Turks and Caicos. We got eight days together. <laughs> Don't you see same sense with the cut All right. Cut the cord. Oh, no, I might have to cut a bitch with these scissors. <laughs> <laughs> cut the cord! <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Cynthia, that was so thoughtful. That was so thoughtful. Having my girlfriend, Cynthia, with me definitely makes things a lot easier. I have so many sources of stress in my life, and she knows them more than anyone else. In the spirit of Kenya, not only leaving her baby for the first time, she's also going through a divorce. I actually, yeah, I have a court date this court week. Court date while we're here. It's just a lot. It's just a lot. So I would like to request that we think about considering giving Kenya the master. Silence. Cricket. I think it's a little bit out of left field. I mean, everybody could sit here and say they have a reason why they should have the master bedroom. That's I'm Kylie. I'm going to give up my room to make sure you have a nice room. Wow, Kenya, that's a girlfriend right there. I didn't realize they were such great friends. 
I don't know, Ramona. That I don't was know. Melissa. She would do the same. That's <laughs> Luann. I remember when I was getting divorced. I think I lost like 15 pounds. And this I is Ramona. It is traumatic. I mean, going through a divorce. So, yeah, I agree. Give it to Kenya, and I'll take one of the next best rooms. I just want to tell you about tonight what was going to happen because I'm hosting. I know everyone's doing something different every night. I contacted my friend, John McDonald. He owns this really great restaurant. It's on the ocean, beach, whatever, and he has great music. It's called the Conch Shack. Actually, Luann and I were there like like four, five, six years ago. Aha, uh-huh, I'll never forget Guys, it. Don't tell them. <laughs> this is the one that you cock block everybody. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 what do you say? What did she say? She went in and said, I don't give a shit about these girls. I might marry this guy and live on this island. No, I don't know. I, I was into him. I was flirting. I was into him. Oh, okay. Wait a so minute. Friend. What happened? That was, that was when I decided I couldn't be with my ex-husband anymore. It was over. You were married at the time? Yeah. So you were flirting with him? No, I was getting divorced. He's cheating on me for you a year. You just said you were flirting with him one minute ago. Yeah, because I was getting divorced, bitch. No. Wait, what? Because you don't understand anything I say. She's a little bit. And that was it. That was, I want to say, um, it could have, I don't really know. But since it was them actually being chartered in their private jet to uh, Turcos, well, Turks and Caicos, it had to be um, episode one of season one. Okay, but they titled it, uh, shoot, I don't know what they titled it on. But this particular one, they said, Ramona already throwing shade on plane to Turcos. To Turks and Caicos. <laughs> I'm like, she threw a bomb. She ain't threw no shade. Hell, she threw down a whole tree. Okay, and it landed by uh, Kenya. It didn't land on her because she came back with the comeback. <laughs> she pointed those fingers and said, This is what you're not going to do. <laughs> okay, I'm like, Okay, go. Okay, Kenya, I'm going to be watching you, girl. I'm be watching you. All right, so y'all get down in them comments and y'all let me know. <clears throat> was Ramona wrong for calling Kenya a itch because she couldn't keep up with what she was trying to tell Kenya and the rest of the ladies about the reason why she was flirting with this guy and the reason why she could flirt with this guy because she was going through a divorce. And tell me about Cynthia. You think that was right for her to devote so much personal information on Kenya? Okay, when Kenya really didn't ask for her to do that. How did y'all feel about that? But neither here nor there. I will check y'all out next video. Okay, be blessed. And don't forget to like my videos, share my videos, guys. And subscribe if you feel so inclined. Thank you. Bye-bye.